Before I get to the IRS smackdown, let me say some positive things about the IRS. First, they should exist. They have a job to do. Uh, I know you hear Republicans say occasionally, oh, the IRS should be done away with. They're either too stupid to be in Congress or they're just openly lying to your face. We need the IRS. I mean, there's always going to be taxes, certainly. And so we need a department that, you know, processes and manages that. Secondly, the IRS does nothing that is not with the consent and leadership of Congress. There's no tax law that is passed without Congress. And so the IRS is just, again, managing that. They're coming up with policies and procedures to, to fulfill what Congress has set for them to do. Now, that's where I get a little crazy. Let me give you just one example of what infuriates me so much about the IRS and their policies and procedures. Just one example. Now, I've been on both sides of this example. The one side is this, where at the end of the year I look and I realize I have not paid enough in taxes. Then on the other side is when at the end of the year I look and go, hey, I have paid too much in taxes, so I should get a refund. The money they have is mine, rightfully, legally mine. Here's what infuriates me. Here's the difference in those two sides of that example. If you owe the IRS money, let me tell you what happens. You will get a letter from them. They will spell out how much they think you owe, and then they'll say you've got to a certain time to pay this, and if you don't, you'll be subject to penalties and fines. Uh, you can have a lien put against your house, your, your, your wages garnished, your, your bank, you know, frozen. It's a scary thing. I've received that letter, okay? But it's funny because on the other side, if they have your money that they should give back to you, not a peep. It's crickets on the other side. No letter, no contacts at all. And even worse, it's now upon me. I've got to do this tax return with all the deductions and paperwork to prove every deduction and all the schedules added you know, to the tax return, and I've got to fight like a dog. And in my case, I'll have to hire an, an accountant and maybe even an attorney just so I can get my money. I, I, you know, when, when they talk about the IRS being public servants, I, I question that because either one of those equations is not a service to anyone in this public, okay? Now, that brings us to this whole tax reform stuff that Donald Trump is leading. And let me say this. Trump, who is this woman abuser, lying, tweeting, uh, racist, bigot guy, I want to say this. I support him 100% when it comes to the tax cuts and the simplified tax code. I am all in. But here's what I'm afraid is going to happen, because I'm 60 years old. I've gone through this too many times. They're going to pass some some law. He will sign it. He'll tweet the next day about this is the most awesome tax reform ever, and yet I won't see a dime in tax cuts. And there'll be no simplification whatsoever. Actually, it'll probably be even more complex. And I will be dying. And let me be clear. If that happens, I will, I will view Trump as just another very small pup puff of putrid hot air coming forth from the same swamp that every one of us despise. It's time for a smackdown. Let's see.